So we're going to give you a quick synopsis of how we can eradicate inequality in our society today. Before we go any further, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. We need some kind of education reform. Check this out. There is no way you're going to get the politicians, the middle to upper classes, to buy into the education system as it is today. We have a two-tier system. One side is the private schools and the other side you have a public system. Now, the public schools have been for years now, we're not, not even talking years, we're talking decades, have been failing on the whole, the majority of the children that go to those schools. So we're talking about primary schools and secondary schools. And the reason why things have not improved over the decades is because the politicians don't care. They send their kids to private schools. So the only way you can make sure that everybody cares about the education of everybody is to make sure to abolish the private schools and you invest all your time, your money, resources into the public schools. And they can't say, oh, it's, it's impossible, it can't happen, blah, 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 because this has happened in other countries. A prime example is a country in Europe, Finland, took the brave decision to basically reform the whole education system. So they got rid of all private schools. Yes, they got rid of all private schools. Only then will everyone buy into the system. Now, I don't understand how in uh, this 21st century, we're in 2021 and uh, companies are still paying their workers unequal pay for doing the same job. And the only reason they're getting that extra 21% is because they are white and you are black. They are male and you are female. It's totally ridiculous. One of the big organizations out there is the BBC who have been named and shamed for paying their female presenters a lot less than they do their male presenters. Name and shame them. Because no one wants to go and work for a company that uh, is paying you 20% less just because you're a female or because you're black or brown. We need to prosecute all levels of crime equally. We cannot have exemptions like we currently do for police, for white collar workers and for politicians. Doesn't make sense. So what we need in this area is more transparency. Let's hold them accountable for their actions and push and make sure that they are prosecuted and if they're found guilty, lock them up. Uh, this one is uh, pretty obvious really. Um, just legislate to remove all tax loopholes. All the accountants seem to know where they are, so I'm pretty sure government officials, civil serv servants and whatnot, politicians know, also know where all these loopholes are. Close them, close them. That way people or won't have an excuse to pay their taxes where they do business. Governments, politicians need to be braver, regulate, and let's stop all those loopholes. And finally, let's have a regulation for a free and fair media and press. So currently in the United Kingdom, we have two or three people that own most of the main media in the country, and that cannot be right. Rupert Murdoch has a huge influence in the media and press, both in the United Kingdom and in the United States of America, and also in Australia. And I'm sure he's probably got uh, his hands in some other places, like in Asia as well. So that's far too much power in one person's hands, especially when you see how that power is wielded to influence and control and manipulate politicians. No, that's that's not a free and fair, fair press. So there has to be some kind of regulation put in place that stops that from happening. Otherwise, we will never be able to disassociate, disassociate ourselves from the mess that is just about to end 
in the United States. So having said all that, so what can we do? Well, guys, we've got to go out there and we've got to lobby. You've got to speak to your politicians. Ask them about these points. Ask them what do they believe. Just ask. Just ask. Spread the word. Get on Twitter. 